Welcome to this week's video. I am getting crafty with some dried flowers and I'm also taking some flowers from the garden. I'm actually preparing for my telly slot next week and the theme is kind of autumnal. Even though we're heading into November, my the date of my slot was changed. So it's now gonna be on Halloween. So I'm out in the garden and I'm picking things that I'm taking some dried hydrangeas, I'm taking some dahlias that I can hang to use as an example of drying your flowers. And then when we go inside into the kitchen, I have different examples of wreath bases and lots of bunches of dried flowers. And the kittens also had fun with me while I was making some wreaths this week. I just cut a couple of sprigs of this mop head hydrangea. I'm not sure of the variety, but it has a stunning purple color. I got it about three, four years ago. I really should propagate some more of it because I love it. A lot of people love drying hydrangeas and especially this time of year, they look really pretty in displays. All I do to dry them is cut them and stick them in a vase and then just let them naturally just dry out. Some hydrangeas dry better than others. I had some in the garden that was starting to go dry. It was a hydrangea, I think Annabelle? No, maybe not an Annabelle. I'm not sure which one it is, but it was a different variety. And just with hydrangeas, especially the mop head ones, they grow on old wood. So don't cut too many flower heads off your hydrangea. And I also leave the flower heads on the hydrangea to protect it from frost over winter. So just take a few little sprigs. I think I literally took two and then pop them into a vase. And when it comes to drying bunches of flowers, I kind of regret not drying more throughout the summer. I was doing a lot of button flowers for the house to enjoy them, but I definitely should have dried some more, especially when it comes to winter. They're great for wreaths and displays. So I hang the bunches upside down, away from direct sunlight and in a dry area. So moisture will cause them to go moldy and the direct sunlight can cause them to lose their color. I turned my back for two minutes and the place got trashed. I had planned on using that bunch of dried flowers. Carnage. There's loads of way of drying flowers. The professionals, I've seen them put them into these tubs with, I think it's silica gel, I'm not sure what it is, and it dries them out in like a really fancy way. I think Blue Preserve wedding bouquets follow that technique. But if you're just doing it for your house and having a little experiment, the cheapest way is to hang them upside down in a little bunch, and then after about four or five weeks, some will dry out quicker, you'll have some nice dried flowers. And again, some dry out better than others, and don't forget to use things like foliage as well. I'm just putting together a couple of wreaths to use as examples for the telly slot. So one of them, I have different bases that I wanted to just give an example so you don't have to use like a, a foam one. A lot of the foam ones are not biodegradable so you can just use wicker ones, straw ones, metal ones. And I'm simply just making bunches, sticking them on with some wire and trimming off the excess and then I'm gonna pop on a bow as well.
going to do a nice autumnal colored one and this is giving me halloween vibes so i think it'll look really nice on telly as well i think the colors are really vibrant and pretty following the same steps as the last wreath but i'm not actually using any wire for this one the stems when they dry out are quite stiff so i'm literally sliding them into the wicker the gaps are quite tight and i'm just trimming off the excess at the back and they're kind of staying in so i was going to use some wire but i would probably see a lot of the wire because the wicker base is quite light in color sometimes you can get away with using some wire On the table i need to brush my teeth i need to pack my camera <clears throat> i'm not prepared little boogie you're not supposed to be on the counter um and this one is not supposed to be in the sink but i'm very bad at disciplining anyway um i'm just packing up my camera because we're going into i'm gonna just pop add here here's little dawn or bug hello um, I'm gonna just put an ad here. This video is not sponsored by them, but I just wanna declare that I have a working relationship with them. So I'm heading into the Arboretum, but some of you might remember, I worked with them last Christmas on like fireplace decor. I was creating content for them. And they have a new, so in Tractor's bookstore on Mary Street, I think it is. I haven't been in it. I've been in the other bookstore. They have a garden center in it. 
which I'm very excited to go in. So I'm going to be doing a tablescape, I think, with them and a wreath. But I need to go in and film the content. But thankfully, my pal Karen is helping me out. And my friend's dad is giving me... He's a taxi man. So I'm like, if ever I'm feeling flush, I like to support him. So I'm going to head in. So I don't have to get the bus this morning because it's freezing. I normally get the bus into town. Um, so yes, I'm heading in. Also ignore the carnage. Carnage. Cameras, carnage. I think I nailed my autumn outfit today. I got this little, um, like it's khaki green ribbed jumper. And I just have my little slippers that I'm living in. And I'm like, um, I've been following loads of people. This is my little handbag. Now I know this is my summer handbag but I think it looks nice in my outfit. And then I just have my little tote bag for my camera. Loads of girls I follow, like on Instagram, have been sharing their like 30 days of October outfits or something. And I struggle with knowing what to wear in autumn because I just, I love a dress, but then I also like being cozy as well. And then in the garden, it's not practical and it's cold. So um, yeah. They hashtag inspired me, so I was like, Do you know what, this isn't my usual thing, but it's, it's comfy, it's warm, currently 6 degrees, so, oh I'm ringing someone, <laughs> I've got to go. I got a couple of clips while I was in there just to share on YouTube, so they mostly have indoor plants upstairs and there's a huge section. So you walk into Chapters Bookstore on Parliament Street, it's actually just at the end of Moore Street, you cross the road and it's there. And then upstairs is Urban Green by Arboretum, all the indoor plants at the front. If you've ever been to the Arboretum in Carlow, which I think I have an older vlog on, you could go back on to last year's one. That is huge. And there is an impressive garden centre, but there's also an interior section, a cafe. It's just a nice experience. So this is like a mini pared down version. So you still have the lovely plant section. Then you have the gifting section, home decor section. And then at the back, we have the Christmas section. So I am back from the shops. I went to get pumpkins for my telly display. So there you go, babes. I went to Little. And what did I come out with? A wood burning tool. <laughs> Actually, I think I said this in one of the cricket videos where I had an idea for, remember I did the wedding DIY with the slab of wood and I was thinking like a wood burning the name or the initials so like maybe making a little stencil or something with the Cricut and then etching it on this was a tenor with the middle aisle struck again I literally I went in just to get little pumpkins which the kittens are about to jump in and explore so I just got my gourds is it yeah I got little pumpkins for the table normally when I'm on the telly I'm on the patio, which is outside, but the girls were saying it's gone really cold. So I'm in the studio. I was like, well, I've made it into the studio. I'm not out in the car park anymore. I've come up in the world. So I'm packing. I'm really actually overwhelmed at the minute because I feel like I have lots of spinning plates. Which I'm the sort of person who I like to have one job, do it 100%, finish it, polish it off, give it to whoever my client is, and then start the next one. But at the moment, I feel like I have five jobs going at the one time. And it's, I'm like, oh, I just need a few helpers sometimes. <laughs> I just need some help. But anyway, um, I'm gonna start packing up the box for the television. <laughs> I knew you were going to, this is probably your first time to see a pumpkin, is it? The kittens, I always forget like, me doing the bit of crafting and stuff. That's all new to them. <laughs> and it's new to me having kittens. Cause Blondie, she would get involved and she'd be like, what are you doing? But she got used to me doing all the things that I do be doing, doing that I do. And um, so the kittens think it's playtime when I come back with goodies like this. So I also got a tub of sweets cause it's Halloween. I don't waste the fruit on the kids. I just get a little box. I'm actually probably going to have to make a sign to leave on the door. I do get trick-or-treaters 
mostly just kids on the road. There's a couple of young families and I like, I don't want to be the house that doesn't give them sweets, but I might just put my sweets out on a porch. I'll reuse the pumpkins and stuff, make a little display, but I think I might just make a sign because I don't want to be getting up and answering the door with the kittens. And I don't want to, it's not fair. And I actually don't know how the kittens are going to be. Blondie and Pepsi were fine with Halloween. Pepsi, don't know if it was a black cat thing. She used to want to go outside and I'm like, girl, <laughs> so I don't know if uh, little Bjorg might be the same, if it's a black cat thing, they get activated at Halloween. Um, so I don't know how they're going to be Halloween night with all the um, fireworks and stuff and people knocking on the door. It might be a bit of a, I don't know, a trigger for them or it might not, they might be fine. So I think I'll make a little sign and a little sweet area at the porch and be like, sorry I can't answer the door, I have kittens. <laughs> or yeah i'd be afraid they'd steal my kittens anyway okay i have one more wreath i'm gonna pack up my box then i have one more wreath that i need to half make it's got dried leaves and stuff i bought it from a florist it's like a kit and then i think i have all my props for the telly i was going to cut out one of the pumpkins and put flowers in it but I don't think I'm going to do that now because <laughs> the ones I got are quite small but I was thinking I could put flowers in this one, the ghost pumpkin. All you have to do is like cut out the centre and you can pop it in like um, a plastic bottle or like a little tiny vase or a glass and stick the flowers into the vase inside it. But I don't think, oh don't eat my pumpkin say boo. But I actually don't think I have time to do that. But I, I don't know how big my table display is going to be. I think it's going to be smaller than usual. So I have plenty. That's one thing I worry about with my telly display is I always like it to look full. But, and I also only get six minutes, seven if I'm lucky to explain what I'm doing. So anyway, enough waffling. I got a gingerbread latte coffee. Get me Christmas vibes. Sunrise in West Virginia, sleep talking on the front porch, running barefoot to a creek. We learned to drive the van then, we had to hide it from the fishermen. Two French braids made. That is the sound of the trolls in the background. My niece and nephew are inside. We are waiting on our 
food delivery to come. So I've just been finishing off this. Well, half finishing it. So this, oh, she looking vibrant. This is half of my wreath for the telly. The other side will be the demo slot. But I'm after using most of the foliage. This is actually beautiful when it's finished, a big autumnal wreath. But yeah, I've used most of the foliage. So I don't know whether to take some foliage off or I could get some from the garden, some of this foliage, just so I have for the demo. Anyway, I'm gonna pack this up and then I think I have everything. Just print off my notes. I am going to end this vlog here because I need to go inside and enjoy watching the end of the trolls with my niece and nephew. Have food, have some fam time. But yeah, I'll catch up with you and I'll see you on Thursday's video.